Well, as you can see, today's ELB ride looks a little different. We're finally gonna try out the Rover today. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out to Jamestown Island and do the Jamestown Loop. We're gonna start at the Jamestown Settlement and then do the loop. All right, so here we are on this beautiful spring day where everything is green and not because of the leaves, but because of the pollen. The EOB is not gonna be as E this time. She won't be as elusive because she's gonna be right behind me. So if I'm filming, you're gonna see her too. But that's good, she's the prettier one of the two of us. <laughs> good, morning. Hey, good morning. About seven miles an hour. We don't, you have to drive it different. You can't drive this one like we drive our other ones because it's a different vehicle. So, now let's drive it like an RV. Oh, see we didn't think about how can we get in there with this thing because it sits up so high. Oh. But do we fit? Yikes. Yeah, that feels... <laughs> we're doing... We're doing 10 miles an hour. Touring bike. The IPS sounds like a great idea. It didn't feel like I was doing anything. Even if, even if I was pedaling, it didn't feel like I was doing anything. There was only once or twice that I could feel myself actually contributing to the motion of the bike. The rest of the time it was kind of freewheeling, which made it very, it's hard to pedal when you're not doing anything. Well, or when you feel like it, because the thing is, is when she was pedaling and she was not feeling like she was contributing, I could tell that she was pedaling and she was contributing. So some of it might be just, we're gonna have to figure out. Have to learn it. The tandem experience yeah. is totally different than what I expected. <laughs> Is it, is it? You you expected it to be the same as your other one and just with two of us and it's a totally different vehicle. I may have to put the uh, 20 inch wheel back on it and see if that makes a difference. I don't know if putting the 24 inch wheel on there makes that much of a difference because it also changes the frame geometry a little bit which might be some of the issue um, for making the steering feel really heavy because the geometry's changed. I didn't even think about that. You can see it. Well, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but I can see it. The back end is up just that extra couple of inches. You can see how the front, you can see how the front over here looks a little bit closer to the ground than the rear of the trike over here. So that may be contributing to the heavy steering as well. Yeah, I didn't even think about changing the frame geometry by putting a bigger wheel on it. We'd never ridden anything like this before at all. No kind of social, tandem bike side by side delta any kind of tandem bike before so this is a completely new experience for us so this is my view the whole ride <laughs> i don't know and i know that my pedaling is helping but it's a different return on investment i think i like being independent too much I think I like riding beside you rather than behind you. If I want to go sideways over here, I can't. If I, you know, I just, and I can't really see what's coming in front of me. I can't really see what's coming behind me. The other thing is, is I think because a little bit of, of the steering that's different is it's hard for me to ride with one hand. And like you see right now, she's doing all the work, all the pedaling, and I need to change gears. Well, we need to go on this hill, pay attention. And so, well, I see. I want to. I wanted to slow us down, and I couldn't. I don't have that. <laughs> so right there, we needed to slow down to go through these, because they have the gate closed. <laughs> Is he right there? It was like so, I have no control over how close I am to that pole, because I had to trust that he was paying attention, which usually he is. <laughs> so the tandem bike we have found out, even on this short little ride, just might not be for us, which is okay. For us and the type of riding that we like to do, we, we just like to be independent. I think yeah. the tandem is kind of like our idea of gardening. We like the idea of it, the reality maybe not so much. Yeah. Now mind you, we grow a lot of pickles. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're going because she just started peddling. Um, Enough pontificating. So post ride, it took us an hour and 15 minutes to do seven miles. And I mean, if you consider though, what we did, we stopped a lot. We had a lot of discussion. We just kind of took our time. For us, at least 
with the tandem, it might be one of the, it, now it might be one of those things where we're gonna have to, uh, to where we're gonna have to ride it more and figure it out. But for today, we were both like, hmm, not sure. This was the downside of buying a trike that we only got to do a test ride really in the driveway um, with a flat tire and with the back tire that wouldn't stay seated. I guess I like the idea of riding together, which is really together. Where was I? Correcting Wait me. Wait till I get started. <laughs> where, where was I? <laughs> Good thing we can edit. So the other thing is, is the ELB did right up front. We didn't take the time to adjust the trike completely for her to ride up front because then we would have had to shorten the boom and, and all that. And I didn't bring the tools to do that, which would have also included the trees falling on me, <laughs> which would have also included moving, um, taking out some chain links to move it, to move the boom and do all that kind of stuff. So she did get a ride up front. It's just, it's just different. That's the whole thing. The biggest thing about this is it's different. And sometimes different is good. And sometimes different makes us like what we've got. It was something I always wanted to try and I'm, I'm glad we did it, but I'm just not sure it's for us right now. Maybe when the EOB can't walk anymore. So we'll see what happens with it. But until next time, cheers. Ride your ride.